In the year 2012, there were multiple businesses started by students. Two happened to be born in the city of Boston, American Dream House and Split My Taxi. And then I realized that I had a whole entire exhibition to myself and that I didn't want it to just be a gallery show. I wanted it to launch something bigger than that. And then I think all the ideas kind of just came together at once. I'm like, I need to just start a brand. That's it. And I saw a great opportunity in a, in a brilliant friend of mine, and I was like, this is gold. No matter what happens, I should take this, especially at the age of 20 years old. From then on, I just I went full force and did everything I could to show him that he needs me and the company needs me and that I would be a really good uh, team player and that he would want me as a co-founder. While many think that starting a company while at school can lead to a lifetime career, student entrepreneurs at Boston University realize the importance of a degree and earning high marks while running a company can prove challenging. It was not easy at all, especially with early classes, because I was always working late nights on Dreamhouse, and it was hard because Dreamhouse was such a priority for me that I was like, ugh, I don't want to like have to do homework and school. And Both David Dinesh and Molly Rossner have applied what they learned in the classroom to real life. Rossner has been able to dedicate more time to American Dreamhouse since graduating in May, while Dinesh and his co-founders have put Split My Taxi on hiatus to focus on school. For BUTV10, I'm Kendall Crotier.